Hey guys, I'm Molly, interior designer of Design Loves Detail. Welcome to our channel where we share the best deals and tips for your home. This is my husband, Ben, and together we just finished our basement. We're super excited to share the kitchen with you today. And be sure to unsubscribe and hit the bell while you're here so that you will be notified when our next basement reveal is live. There's lots of fun stuff coming your way. So I feel like it's a, a common misconception that you need a lot of space mm -hmm. to make a really cool kitchen design. So um, this kitchen's really cool. I think it's, it's actually, I, I love it. So um, you didn't need a lot of space in order to do it. It's true. I love this kitchen as much as our upstairs one. Um, I wanted that kind of European feel, a little bit more countryside down here. I designed this um, arch hood, as you guys remember, we shared in our pre-tour before it was finished. And it gets kind of an architectural detail, which is amazing. Um, because when you have a basement space, sometimes you lose those. You don't have as many natural architectural details with lower ceilings and things like that. But you can still get a lot of bang for your buck with something like this. It's just a drywall hood. Um, so it wasn't a ton of expense, but it looks really cool. And it gives us actually a lot of storage up here as well. This um, is actually my favorite piece in the whole kitchen is this, the this hood, hood. In the so shelf. really cool really unique you were really worried about it kind of going out on a limb and creating it but it's anytime, turned out really cool yeah anytime that you as a designer when you create something that you haven't seen done before it's like the most rewarding thing but it's also the most risky you just don't know um exactly how it'll turn out because you don't get to see a picture on pinterest or something it's like paving the way so anyways i love it and um another another item that i think is just a wow factor in this kitchen is the appliances love these so much yes, they're really cool and they look really great plus you found mm -hmm. a, a fridge that actually yeah. fits under the counter and i didn't even know that existed it's true. so he was pretty really impressed. cool fridge so these are all from the cafe line um it's made by ge and so they're just top quality and they have the most gorgeous finishes you can select the color for here so i went with this um matte like graphite color and then the um, hardware you get to choose as well so this bronze has kind of that golden undertone which just warms up the space i love it and yes like he talked about the under counter fridge is so cool it's perfect for a space like this because you you don't need a full-size fridge down here it's not our main kitchen but um you know we have a theater room close by and a dining space and so it's nice to have the essentials little drinks and snacks for whenever you need them and then also down here like we were talking about just um, in the recent video of our son's room, the cabinet, the cabinet color. colors, yeah. yeah, same color as his wall, which I love the color. So it's really cool that we have it in multiple places down here yeah. in the basement. And definitely the color changes um, with, depending on what you pair it with, which is I, one thing I love about it. Uh, it takes on a little more of a green hue. I wanted to go more of the kind of green um, gray tones down here rather than the blue gray that I did upstairs. It still feels really cohesive, but just a you know slight difference to make it exciting and fresh. And the tile, we love that. Yes, the tile is really cool. This is from Bedrosians, and it is actually, what I really try to do in this space is go for that high-low mix I love, where you mix higher-end finishes with stuff that's more affordable so that the whole space just looks you know really high-end, but you, didn't have to spend a lot. For instance, these countertops are remnant pieces. Yep. Uh, when you have a smaller kitchen, you're able to use remnant pieces, mm -hmm. not have to, to completely break, break the budget yep. on getting countertops that are, you know, super expensive. You're able to use people's leftovers, I guess. Yeah. Way to put it. <laughs> Sometimes so. it's good. It's recycling, basically. Um, they're just extra um, pieces that they had at the slab yard and I think they're gorgeous, like I love them. And they paired really well with this tile. This is the Chloe tile, by the way, from Bedrosians. And it is in the, I think it's a five by five square, I'll double check. But um, I, I feel like it has just that right amount of variation and that handmade look that gives a really custom feel. And the price is amazing. Like some of the handmade tiles are outrageous. This one is really reasonably priced and I love that about it. And it just kind of, set backdrop for the whole space. So we got really cool light fixtures I'm gonna share with you from Hudson Valley Lighting. They have, oh my gosh, like such pretty lighting. Yes, the lighting is so cool. So <clears throat> really cool, plus I mean, we got other stuff from them that was really awesome that we'll be showing in our theater room when we do that. Yes, and it all kind so. of ties, like, ties in so that'll be a fun post to share as well, just kind of featuring the lighting. I will give you a peek at the pendants we used in here. Totally stunning. I love the plaster look with the um, brass detail. I mixed in a lot of um, brass accents down here and love that look. So 
the other place that I saved a bunch of money, you guys, is these dishes on the shelves. Because when you have open shelving like this, sometimes you, you need a lot of um, dishes to fill it to make it look really good and then also to be functional. Yeah, and you want them to look good if you're yeah. going to have them displayed this way also. Yeah, so you want pretty ones, but you just don't want to spend a fortune. These are all from Walmart, so, you know, I love me a Walmart find. Um, these here, the black ones here, and even the matte white. So, uh, really great options, and I'll link for you if you're looking to fill open shelves and have practical dishes. They're all dishwasher, microwave, and oven safe, so that's a big bonus as well. Thank you guys for following along and checking out the kitchen. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell, as we always say, um, so that you can be notified when our next video is live, because we've got some more basement reveals coming your way.